Welcome back to the channel, y'all. Chris, the Camping Texan here. Where in the world is the Geo Pro? This week, we're set up at Ray Roberts Lake State Park, Isle de Beau Unit. This is campsite number 139. Well, good afternoon, y'all. It's always a pleasure to have y'all out at the campsite with me. Glad y'all could be out here this weekend. Uh, had a great time over at Lake Tawakany State Park. Such a small park, but there's really a lot to do. I was really impressed with the Blackjack Trail and Pear Trees Pond. That was really cool. Uh, please check out that video if you haven't already. But y'all, we're talking about Ray Roberts Lake State Park, Isle de Beau Unit. This is a cool place you gotta check out. So as the story goes, uh, French uh, explorers were here in the 1500s and they had a hard time getting through uh, the Eastern cross timbers here. The trees were so thick uh, that they called it Isle de Beau or Island of Trees. So um, who is Ray Roberts and why is there a lake named after him? Well, y'all, Ray Roberts is a congressman, uh, a legendary congressman, well-respected congressman that served uh, Denton from 1962 to 1982. In fact, he uh, earned the name Mr. Water for his leadership in water conservation. A uh, very cool guy. So y'all, the, uh, the lake uh, Ray Roberts actually was called Lake Aubrey. They renamed it in 1980. It was named after Aubrey, which is a town that's nearby. Um, this lake, 29,000 acre lake, y'all, and it's part of the uh, Trinity River watershed, which uh, is one of the largest watersheds in our state. Uh, so y'all come along with me and we'll check out Ray Roberts Lake State Park, Isle de Beau Unit. Well, y'all, it'd be my pleasure to show you around the campsite. I'm staying over here at 139 in Quail Run at uh, Ray Roberts Lake State Park, Isle de Beau Unit. 20 and 30 amp electric and water y'all no problems with the services whatsoever everything connected up really nice um, nice level asphalt pad it is a short pad so nothing too large in here y'all uh, but you do get a double pad so you've got a place to park your rig as well as a place to put your vehicle now I chose to keep my truck uh, out toward the street so we could use this as a sitting area, but you could put your vehicle over here if you wanted. You guys get a bi-level uh, campsite, which is really cool. A lot of rocks down by the water. Y'all come down here, we'll check this out. Uh, one of the details I love about this campsite is that you have to step down into the, uh, the picnic table and grill area. I love that Ray Roberts Lake State Park paints their uh, poles. You get a single hook lantern pole, oversized aluminum picnic table, no shade shelter, but you could put your own awning. Just make sure you secure it. The winds get a little crazy around here. Uh, In-ground grill and firing. It has seen better days, but uh, I cooked a couple of steaks on it last night, so it's good to go. So uh, overall, y'all, um, I'm super impressed with this campsite. It's really cool. No issues with TV, y'all. Uh, satellite TV, we locked in on three satellites. On-air channels, not so much. We couldn't get any on-air channels to come through. Um, I'm still experimenting with my Roku Express that I bought. Uh, tried it over at Lake Tawakany State Park. Connected it up to my AT&T mobile hotspot and it works great. So I put up a cell booster, but you guys won't need a cell booster out here. There are several uh, AT&T and Verizon uh cell towers around this park so you're, you're going to get really good signal uh, at least as far as at&t and verizon goes so no issues with that if y'all need any supplies while you're out here at ray roberts lake uh, state park al de Beau, uh, we drove into pilot point maybe 15 minutes from here we ate at ernesto's mexican food restaurant let me tell you they have some fantastic uh cheese enchiladas over there uh, there's a gas station right next to the restaurant if you need fuel. And then we found a Brookshire bro uh, Brothers right there in town. So that if you need any supplies, you can get from there as well as a Pizza Hut if you want to grab a pizza on your way back. Well, y'all, my site's pretty awesome. I have to admit, 139, I love it. It's been really cool. But if I wanted to pull through, if I was coming really late at night, I didn't have to look very far, y'all, to find a site across the street, 150 is awesome y'all now 150 has a really long asphalt driveway it looks pretty level for the most part uh, it has a little bit of slope toward the front it's very well shaded that's what i love about this campsite a lot of trees 
but uh, let's we'll take a look at your services. So 20, 30, 50 amp electric and water. I love how you have to step up to the picnic tail area. Really cool, y'all. Got the steps leading up here. Aluminum picnic table, oversized. You could have your own shade shelter right here if you wanted, but there's enough shade up here, you really don't need it. In-ground grill and firing. And then you've got your single hook lantern pole right here. Plenty of space for your dogs to roam, your kids to play. And then look at the view, check it out. How cool is that? Another campsite that I think you guys will absolutely enjoy here in Quail Run is 149. 149 is a pull through site, y'all with a view to die for. Now this driveway, I can tell you, it has a slope. It slopes toward the front, but you do have a sweet spot right here in the center uh, where you can get leveled out. But check that out, y'all. What a view. Now you have the excess vehicle parking area across from you. So that could mean some traffic coming in and out, but still uh, you can put up with a little bit of that to see that beautiful lake right there. Ray Roberts Lake, how pretty is that? Services, y'all, 20, 30, 50 amp electric and water. Um, you're right across the street. You could go fishing off the rocks down there on the bank. Get any size rig through this pull through, y'all. Class A, fifth wheel. You are close to the dumpster. You have some trash. It's just right up the hill. Get rid of your trash right there. You've got a nice little uh, trail that leads up to the bathroom right here in the back of your campsite. So if the restroom is something that you're in need of, you're close to it, you guys get a single hook lantern pole, an oversized aluminum picnic table. Now it's not sitting on a concrete pad. Uh, it is sitting on the ground and you could supply your own awning uh, for shade if you needed to. You've got several trees here in the back of your campsite. A little bit of shade back here, in-ground grill and firing. But overall, y'all, if you're looking for a quick and easy pull-through site, 149 has to fit the bill. It's so beautiful. Well, y'all, a campsite that I think you're thoroughly going to enjoy over in Deer Ridge is number 56. If I'm staying over in Deer Ridge, 56 and 57, uh, they're numbered together. So maybe it's a double site kind of thing going on. I don't know, y'all. Anyway, I would rent both of them if I had to, just to have this right here. This has to be one of the closest accesses to the water I've seen. In-ground grill and firing. Uh, group style picnic table you could bring a little shade shelter a little awning uh, you guys get electric and water let's see what we got here oh yeah 20 30 50 amp electric and water what a beautiful view we could do some fishing right here how cool is that so 56 and 57 nice big pad if you rent them out both of them uh, get a pretty good size rig in here too pretty long driveway it's got a little slope to the front but it doesn't matter the payoff is right there well if y'all like to do some primitive tent camping out here at ray roberts lake state park al debo this is the hawthorne primitive camping area y'all this is campsite number one this has to be one of my favorite primitive uh, tent campsites it's so beautiful look at this oversized picnic table that you get guys aluminum picnic table you don't need a shade shelter. This tree provides all the shade you need. Plenty of room to set up your tent. How beautiful is this? You got the lake in the backdrop. And then this is cool here, y'all. You've, you've got an in-ground grill and firing. Uh, it's unusual in a lot of our state parks to, uh, to have a ground fire in a primitive camping area. So that's pretty cool that they give you that. You've got a single hook lantern pole here. And then check this out. This has to be the cherry on top. Uh, for campsite number one, a private access trail down to the water, and you've got a good amount of space to, uh, to throw your hook in the water. That is so pretty. Imagine yourself being here, waking up every morning to this. Now y'all, the next uh, primitive area I'm gonna show you is the wild plum area. 
Um, I did want to mention over in Hawthorne, they do have water taps over there, so you can get water. But over here in Wild Plum, you guys get a chemical toilet. Uh, but it's very pretty over here in Wild Plum. Uh, I'm going to show you campsite number 118. I like this campsite a lot. Uh, it's in the trees. It's very cozy. And I think you're going to like it too. Um, the the uh, amenities that you get down here included an aluminum picnic table. It's oversized. You won't really need a shade shelter. There's a lot of natural shade over the table. A single hook lantern pole. You get a nice area to pitch your tent as well as an in-ground grill and firing. But what I really think you guys are gonna like is that you're really close to the water down here and there's several opportunities to do some bank fishing. So y'all make sure y'all come and check out the Wild Plum Primitive Tent Camping Area. Really, really cool. Well, y'all, if you have a horse, make sure that you come and stay out at Bluestem Grove. They have several different camping situations for you guys. They have uh, primitive sites. They also have water and electric sites. They have pens for your horses, as well as a, a small kid's fishing pond. Uh, but we're over here in the restroom area. Right here, there's a pen, a place to tie up your horses. Really cool, y'all. Several benches out here if you just want to take in the, the scenery, as well as a group pavilion. So if you want to get together after a long day on the trail, several picnic tables. Y'all can come out here as a grill. Just make a make an afternoon of it. Ray Roberts Lake State Park Aldebo unit has to have one of the most inclusive dump stations I've seen, y'all. They've got the uh, wood shacks firewood vending system out here where you use a credit or debit card select your firewood a door pops open and you're good to go uh, for our rv and travel trailer users the dump station that you're accustomed to it's huge out here guys they have a, a driveway that's really wide really long you can get a couple of rigs through here which is really nice uh, they have a, a double sewer connection y'all Two non-potable water taps. You would need to supply your own water hose if you want to do a, a black tank flush. They have a light out here. It's not currently working, but they also have a, a small garbage can to get rid of your gloves. And then at the end of the driveway, how about this? A really huge recycling container if you're into recycling, as well as a couple of dumpsters to get rid of any household trash. We all hope you're enjoying your tour of Ray Roberts Lake State Park, Isle de Beau unit. Go ahead and lace up your hiking boots and I'll show you around the trails. We all have a fantastic day of hiking on tap for you. We're going to check out the Randy Bell Scenic Trail. Uh, we'll pick that up from our camping loop right here at Quail Run. Uh, this trail is almost three miles, but it really gives a good perspective of the park as it goes through all the different camping areas. And then we're going to go up toward headquarters. We're going to check out the Lost Pines Trail. This half mile trail is really cool. Uh, we'll get to see some pine trees that are out of place up there, as well as uh, remnants of an old cabin. And then uh, we'll check out the Eagle Activity Trail, a place where you could take your kids if they get a little bit restless. Um, I'll talk about the Dorba Trail in a moment, but I wanted to mention if you have a horse, um, 
there are over 20 miles of equestrian trails out here at this park uh, that go into the Jordan unit as well as they go out toward the green belt. Uh, so make sure you bring your horse out here, stay in blue stem, and you've got access to a lot of trails. Well, y'all, the Dorba Trail. What is the Dorba Trail? When you come through headquarters, you may see a sign that says Dorba Trail, and it might say closed. Dorba stands for Dallas Off-Road Bicycle Association, and it's for... Uh, People who enjoy mountain biking, uh, they have moderate and challenging trails here at uh, Ray Roberts Lake uh, State Park, Isle de Beau. Uh, about 20, a little bit over 20 miles worth. Uh, so this is pretty cool if you're into some serious uh, mountain biking. But I wanted to show you guys out here, they have a bicycle fixing station over here, which is really neat. Um, saw this at Dinosaur Valley State Park, which is really cool place where you can air up your tires if you need to uh, just a little fix -it station pretty neat as well as a pavilion so if you're not riding you want to enjoy a picnic uh, they've got a couple of picnic tables out here for you guys really cool um, but uh, I wanted to mention I've heard of trails similar to Dorba uh, staying in Arkansas State Parks they have what are called monument trails uh, in their state park system and so it's, it's just for people who are really serious mountain bike riders um, occasionally you get some people like me that don't know what they're doing uh, out on the trail but for the most part you're going to see uh, people that really know how to ride their bikes on those trails so if you're if that fits you then come out here and check out the dorba trail we well, all the first trail that we're going to check out here at ray roberts lake state park aldebo is uh the Randy Bell Trail, and this is a connector that takes us over to that trail. Uh, so if you're staying over here in Quell Run, um, this this short little trail will get you on that 2.2 mile trail. Well, that was quick, y'all. It doesn't take long to get off of the connector from the campsite and the camp camping loop over here to the Randy Bell Trail. One of the things that I noticed right away about Ray Roberts Lake State Park is that they really leveled the playing field uh, for all types of hikers. Um, you can get out here and enjoy these trails. They're cemented trails. Um, so kudos to the state park for laying down all this concrete. Uh, makes it really soft on your feet. Uh, so y'all get out here, make sure you enjoy these trails. Several really nice benches like this one on the Randy Bell Trail are available here for your enjoyment and pleasure great place to sit take a break have a drink of water what an unexpected surprise right here off of the randy bell trail look at this little pond how cool is this y'all and you know what i see this morning is a turtle big old turtle down there just hanging out The Randy Bell Scenic Trail offers a glimpse at what life must have been like for early Texas settlers. At one time, these pocket prairies, as what they're called, are just large areas of native grasslands. And now in order for us to keep this in place, uh, the state park system has to use prescribed burns uh, to get rid of the uh, brush and small trees so that these prairie grasses can stay natural. Y'all check this out. Did you run out of water while you're hiking the Randy Bell Trail? They've got a water tap for you. How cool is that? So you can refill your water bottle, your water jug. Just another great feature of Ray Roberts Lake State Park. Y'all always enjoy paying respect to our Eagle Scouts and their wonderful projects that they add to our beautiful state parks. Here at Ray Roberts, Al Debo, this, is, uh, this information board was created by Casey Wallen, Troop 51. June of 2020. Thank you, Casey. This is awesome. We all have to check this out. This amphitheater at Ray Roberts, Aldebo. This is cool, y'all. They've got brand new benches out here, uh, fire pit. I bet they put on some really cool interpretive programs. This will be a great place to have a star party. I just love this green field. 
I mean, this is so neat back here. All this space. Really, really cool. Well, y'all, the uh, Randy Bell Scenic Trail gets a huge thumbs up from me. I'm back where I started. It was 2.2 miles of awesome, let me tell you. On this trail, I have seen people on roller skates, e-bikes, bicycles. If you want to see what Ray Roberts, Al DeBow is all about, you have to take this trail. It takes you through all the camping loops. If you have children with you, you can stop along the way, let them play at the playground. There's restrooms and water. Definitely a must do if you come here. Well, y'all, the Randy Bell Scenic Trail was super cool. I really enjoyed that trail. The next trail we're going to check out is the Lost Pines Trail. So y'all come and join me, and we will see what this is all about. Now, one of the reasons this trail is called Lost Pines is on this trail, you're going to see a lot of pine trees uh, like this one here that they seem out of place, uh, mixed in with all these uh, eastern cross timbers. So it's pretty cool. The Lost Pines Nature Trail is a half a mile interpretive trail, so you'll see a lot of informative panels like this one here talking about the eastern red cedar. But uh, one of the things that I noticed out here is that they recently had a prescribed burn. These prescribed burns are necessary to get rid of uh, the um, weeds and brush that grow up in here. And so when this grows back, it'll, it'll uh, definitely help the ecosystem. The Lost Pines Nature Trail is relatively flat, uh, so anyone can get out here and enjoy this trail. One of the really cool points of interest on the Lost Pines Trail is uh, the remains of a house, a small house that uh, once stood here back in the 1880s. Uh, so this fireplace is all that all that's left. So can you imagine what it was like, y'all? Uh, to, to live out here back in those days. Uh, it's pretty cool. Y'all make sure y'all stop by and, and check this out. The Lost Pines Trail offers a really good glimpse of the lake, as well as if you're a birder, this is a good place to come out and see if you can spot your favorite bird. If you just want to take a break, they have a bench for that as well. You can sit here, uh, catch your breath, get a drink of water, all while you enjoy the beautiful landscape. Well, y'all, the next trail we're going to check out is called the Eagle Activity Trail. It's a three-tenths of a mile trail. It's really flat. Bring your kids out here. If they're getting tired of the playground, bring them over here, y'all. There are plenty of activities for them to do. This trail is located by the Nature Center and Headquarters. They're going to love doing activities like this. Uh, you can stand on these posts and pretend like you are a heron. Uh, see how long you can balance. Uh, so if you really need to get the wiggles out, bring your kids out here. Check out this trail. Another activity is to scamper like a squirrel on the activity trail. So they look like balance beams to me. Uh, my daughter was in dance all throughout high school, so that's what I see when I first see this. Uh, but you're, it's supposed to uh, imitate a tree branch, and you're supposed to see if you can scamper like a squirrel across the tree branches. So pretty, pretty neat. So y'all, headquarters at Ray Roberts Lake State Park, Al Debo, it rivals any headquarters building I've seen in the Austin area. Very well manicured up here, very friendly folks. They also participate in the Greener Energy Program, and they have the, uh, the solar panels here 
in the parking area. Really cool. Now, y'all, the Nature Center is closed today, but uh, they have a really cool little picnic area out here. I saw some folks, uh, they had a, a sandwich out here. Uh, really cool. Uh, but this Nature Center, y'all, it reminds me a lot of the Nature Center at Village Creek. Uh, just a very small complex. I can tell you that this one is pretty unique in that they have live snakes in here. Kind of reminds me of Brazos Bend State Park where they had alligators. So uh, if you want to check this out, they're open, y'all, Friday through Sunday. So I'm here during the middle of the week, so I don't get to go in. Bummer. Uh, but they have uh, several exhibits that you can go in and experience. Um, you can touch the skeletons of animals, furs, things like that. It's pretty cool. Your young kids will really, really like it. It's really neat. They have benches out here for you to sit down. And then uh, I can't help but... I can't help but notice the Eagle Scout projects, guys. Troop 192 out of Argyle. Thank you guys for giving us these benches. We appreciate that so, so much. Uh, really close to headquarters. You guys can walk over there if you need anything. Um, and then another Scout project, y'all, is a, a water pond, a water, water lily pond that they've created out here. So uh, thanks again for that. Eagle Scout Ian Hunt, October 2011. How cool is that? So get out here check it out check out the nature center really really cool we all just feet in on the lost pines nature trail here at ray roberts lake state park aldebo they have a really cool amphitheater a lot of bench seating out here with a fire pit uh, i'm sure they put on a lot of really cool interpretive programs over here definitely worth checking out y'all we all ray roberts lake state park aldebo unit is the perfect place to bring your boat and do some fishing not only do you have multiple lane boat ramps out here you've got a, a guide as to how many fish you can uh, you can bag per day and then this is impressive y'all this reminds me a lot of cooper lake state park sulfur unit south sulfur unit look at this massive parking lot plenty of places to park your truck and your trailer so y'all get out here and do some fishing if you're fortunate enough to catch some fish out here on ray roberts lake there's a really nice open air fish cleaning shelter for your convenience they've got a concrete table out here uh, it's very clean. I don't see scales everywhere. Everything's washed down. A couple of electrical taps uh, hanging from the ceiling for your use. There's a light that works, a garbage can underneath, and a water tap on top. So really nice place to come and clean your fish. And then check this out. Uh, they've got a catch of the day board. How cool is that? So maybe you're, you're lucky enough to, to snag one of the big ones. Uh, maybe... Uh, your name and picture can come up here. A couple of benches over here where you can just sit and watch what's going on on the lake. Really cool. And then uh, a restroom back here. Just a really cool place to come and come and hang out. Unfortunately, the fishing pier is off limits. So we won't be able to go down there. That area is closed off. Uh, but uh, imagine it's a pretty good place to bring your tackle box, your rod and reel, and do a little fishing. We well, all the day use area out here at Ray Roberts Lake State Park, Aldebo unit is amazing. Uh, check out this volleyball court. Look how deep the sand is. I saw some guys out here playing volleyball yesterday, just having the time of their life. Really cool place to come out and hang out. And then check out the, uh, the number of picnic tables they have in this day use area. I love the green grass out here, y'all. Great place to come out and have a picnic. They have water taps right here if you need to wash your hands, wash your dishes. And then how about this beach area? I love this. This is great, y'all. A lot of standing grills out here, restrooms nearby. They even have some uh, picnic tables that are set up for group picnicking, which is really cool. I mean, this is nice. Real sand beach. Love it. I love the, uh, the pathways they have out here really clean you can tell that uh the park staff they do an amazing job keeping everything looking nice out here now this reminds me of galveston y'all they've got a shower head out here for you 
So when you're done swimming and you've got all that sand on your feet, you can come up here and you can rinse it all off right here. Really cool. That's really neat that they provide that. Y'all check out this playground. This is first class. So if your kids are restless, y'all bring them out here. Let them get some of that energy out. There are plenty of activities to do at this playground. It is so colorful out here, too. Uh, I don't know what kid wouldn't want to come out here and, and go across the little rope bridge or crawl under some rocks and a little swing. I mean, just how neat is that? So, And the surface, y'all, it's like walking on pillows. Uh, just a really cool place for your kid to hang out. So if they're not into swimming, bring them over here to the playground. This group pavilion is awesome, y'all. I can't believe it's just right here by the water. How nice is this? If you've got a, a gathering that you'd like to get your family together for, your friends out here, several picnic tables underneath this, uh, this pavilion. They've got lights under here. How cool is that? A big old grill over here. Cook up your favorite steaks, ribs, chicken, whatever you like. And then you've got a few trees to provide some shade back here really really nice area to have a have a group picnic so how about this y'all on the opposite end of the day use area opposite of the boat ramp in a more quieter environment you've got another group pavilion so if you're wanting to have a little bit more intimate time with your uh, family or friends and you don't want as much hustle and bustle well this pavilion is exactly what you need you get the same large grill out here so you can cook up whatever you'd like a lot of aluminum picnic tables under here a beautiful view of the lake it's amazing and this park has no shortage of picnic tables so if you can't get one of the picnic tables that have uh, a shade shelter don't fret. There are plenty of tables underneath the trees. I mean, there is, there is a place for you to sit and open a picnic basket at this park. We all had a fantastic trip to Ray Roberts Lake State Park, uh, Isle de Beau unit. Can't wait to get back out here. But y'all, it's time for me to hit the trail. Uh, come and join me March the 16th through the 19th. I'll be heading over to Lake Mineral Wells State Park. If you enjoyed the content of this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified Saturdays at 6 p.m. our videos post. To all my current subscribers, guys, you rock so much. I appreciate your support week in and week out. And to all my future subscribers, guys, what are you waiting for? I see a lot of cool parks like Ray Roberts Lake State Park, Isle de Beau. Make sure you get on board and join me in my travels. If you have a comment or a campsite that you'd like me to check out, make sure you drop it in comments and I'll, I'll check it out. Remember y'all, I'll see you at the campsite.